We can expect to um, enjoy a much more harmonious world and high consciousness because where the sun is taking us in the 24,000 year processional cycle is back to the Dvapara Yuga. Certain Hindu scholars say that we've already entered the Dvapara Yuga in the 1700s, so about two or three hundred years ago. Whereas others tend to say that the Dvapara Yuga has not begun yet. We're still at the end of the Kali Yuga. Nonetheless, in all the traditions, we are at that time when a great transition takes place, a wonderful transition. And all the um, religious traditions are looking forward to this, this time because they know that it will bring much peace and love and, and joy and wisdom to mankind. If we have a good look at our um, solar system and how it works, um, for instance, the moon goes around the earth, the earth in turn is rotating and orbiting the sun. So it takes 365 days to go around the sun. Now our sun in turn is orbiting Sirius. Sirius being the brightest star in the sky and in the sector of Cancer, right near Gemini, it is in a binary with our star. And every 24,000 years, we go around each other in a clockwise motion. Sirius and our sun have been going away from each other for the last couple of thousand years, and now they've turned the corner. So they're heading towards one another. As we reach the outer limits of that orbit, that elliptical orbit with our sun and Sirius, um, this is where the Iron Age is, the Golden Age is when they are close to each other. And then as they separate, they go through the silver and the bronze to the Iron Age. Well, that affects the consciousness of mankind because we have 100% consciousness when the two stars are close to each other. The consciousness falls to 75%, 50% and 25%. We've not enjoyed full consciousness for a long time and many of the gifts and abilities and powers that we once had. As we have turned the corner in the great orbit of our two suns, Sirius and our sun, as we have turned the corner and they are hurtling towards each other now, we have turned the corner from the dark ages. We've come out of the dark period because the, the suns have been, have been pulled apart and their influence is weakened and therefore our consciousness has dropped and we're in the dark ages. Now they're pulling towards each other, bringing us to a higher consciousness. And that is, that's nature. <laughs> nature brings us, um, brings us, ascends, helps us and carries us through the ascension process. So it's all loving. Even though there's chaos and there's um, fear and um, anguish and, and chaotic events occurring around us in our world, even though that is happening, that's really just the remnants of the dark ages. So we've turned the corner. The two suns are hurtling towards each other at great speeds now. And that's the beautiful part of where we are. We've turned the corner. So we're really in a, just a great time in history to be living. It's just an amazing time. The great changes that we will see with our own eyes will just be stupendous. In the book of Daniel of the Bible, it says that in this time, many will uh, come to an accurate knowledge of the truth and they will whiten their robes and they will uh, turn to the truth. But it also mentions that many will just go off into the darkness and, and continue on the path of uh, darkness. The more one loves and finds unity in this world and harmony, the more the blessings will be when that time comes. All shall benefit on different levels. Um, even the unawakened will benefit because that's how the universe elevates souls.